Hi guys, welcome back to Sadler of Nails. Today we are on day three of our 12 days of Christmas nails. We have this pretty little candy cane set. Pause the video right here because one of these nails is not like the other. One of them is with regular nail polish lacquer and the rest are with gel. Can you tell which one? Pause the video right now and comment which one you think is lacquer before it is revealed. We're using Bio Seaweed Gels Evergreen. However, this is not their gel. This is their nail polish line and it was the ring finger. If you guessed it, give yourself a pat on the back, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I'm not giving you anything. So we just did two coats. This went on so beautifully. I think this was the first time I've ever used this polish on such a long nail and I wasn't sure how it would apply and it went on like a dream. So now we have, what was that? Crystal ball, I think. We're just gonna do a little glitter fade coming down at the cuticle. So obviously you're gonna start at the cuticle, pull the glitter down to the towards the tip and then fill in spots where you want more glitter to be to fade it out. It's a pretty easy technique and it gives you a really nice glamorous looking effect. And it also looks like, you know, it was hard to do when really it wasn't. So you can like, you know, act like you're a superstar at nails when it really is freaking easy. So now we're putting down Sech Veet Fast Dry Top Coat. This actually applied pretty good to such a long nail as well. However, I did have to go in for some more and I put a little dollop down in the middle. You could see that so that I was able to spread it out along the entire surface. And I was able to do just one coat. Now I'm gonna come in with the same colors. However, this is now the gel polish. So now we have crystal ball in Bio Seaweeds gels gel. This is a three-step gel, which means it does require a base coat and a top coat, whereas their Unity gels do not require a base and they cure to a shine and do not require a top coat. I do top coat them all anyways. Bio Seaweed does suggest to add a top coat for extra strength and extra wear. So even the Unity gels, I still put a top coat down. So we did do three coats of this to get the depth that I wanted. I did find that their lacquer in this went on better, like the, um, the, the glitter went on more dispersed than with the gel. I had to play around with the gel a little bit more to get the glitter where I wanted it to. So now we have evergreen. We're putting it down on a plate and I've got my striping brush and we are just striping in our little candy cane lines. Normally I would wipe the dispersion layer first or apply a matte top coat before coming in with any detail work. But when I felt the nail, it didn't even really feel like there was much of a dispersion layer on it. So I just went right in with the green and it applied so beautifully. I swear Bio Seaweed makes their polishes for nail art and they just, they go on so wonderfully, both the Unity and the three-step gels apply so beautifully when you're doing nail art. I just absolutely love them. You might wonder why you want some gels to have dispersion layers and one don't, some don't. Um, there's definitely a place for both. You know, in some cases you're gonna want a dispersion layer because you're gonna wanna stick down pigments and things like that. And in other cases, you might want to finish the nail off with detail work after you've applied a matte top coat and you wanna add some shiny detail work in color afterwards, and you don't wanna to waste top coats. So there's definitely a place for both types of gels, ones that cure with dispersion layers and one that's some that cure without. And I use both of them for different methods of nail art. And that is why you need to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get all the tips and tricks that I have on doing awesome nail art. So we're just alternating between a thick line and a thin line to give a more detailed effect to our little green candy cane. And this is how it's looking so far. You're always gonna wanna flip your hand around 
and look at it at all angles because you're going to at one point think you're doing horizontal lines or angled lines and you're going to look at it and like that line is going to be completely vertical and you're going to be like, what the, you know, so look at it at all angles. I'm telling you before you're at the end, like every single line, flip your hand over and look at it. Last step, my fave accents shine on accents now is a canadian brand and their polishes are produced in canada another one that i absolutely absolutely love and if you're wondering how my nails grew overnight like this video and i might let you know in the next one hmm Here's our green candy cane set. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye until tomorrow.